Good morning, Henry. Well, I how are you? I see you're really interested in gardening as always. <laughs> this is your real interest. <laughs> I, I believe all your politics spring out of farming. Well, I got interested in politics because uh, it wasn't safe to be a farmer until some other things in the world were settled. Yeah. But now, people over here are a good deal interested, I think, in a remark you made the other day. You spoke as if war was pretty nearly inevitable, unless we could reach an understanding with the Soviet Union. Now, what people keep on asking me is, what is Mr. Wallace's recipe for reaching an understanding with the Soviet Union? Is it as bad as all that? Well, I want to say in the first place that I didn't want to be as pessimistic as a great many people think that I am when I make a statement of that sort. Yeah. I really think an understanding with Russia is possible. But I think it will take some years before we can arrive at that understanding. Difficult anyway. Uh, Russia, thank mm -hmm. you. Well, that sounds a pretty poor prospect for human, humankind. I'm not a pessimist, Kingsley Martin. I always <laughs> expect the best. The United States has a tremendous productive power. And that productive power will have to be put to use. And in putting it to use, we can, if we will, get a cooperative understanding from both Russia, England, and the other countries of the world, for that matter. Uh, that productive power in the way agricultural products and machine tools mm -hmm. will be recognized as a determining force for peace. And if we will put ourselves, the United States, in the place of these other countries, I am sure that we can get their cooperation to set the whole world on the road to peace and abundance. If we can raise the living standards of people. If we can raise the living standards of people, I'm sure that we can eventually get the cooperation of Russia as well as the other countries. Well, Mr. Wallace, I, I, you're, you've come here really to give the people of England a, a message. I take it both of peace and abundance. That's what it comes to. Well, it really comes to this. The progressive people of America do so want the people of Britain and the people of Western Europe to know that they're going to do everything they can to see that the abundance of America is used for peace and not as a cause or means of war. <laughs> 